Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to show how to integrate Sumo Logic and Slack where you can send uh, messages where something goes wrong with uh, your uh, application or any abnormality or any outlier. Uh, with uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show how to uh, set up the connection between Sumo Logic and Slack and uh, create a simple query in the Sumo Logic query and uh, set up some monitoring where you can use to send a message. So. Um, uh, this is tutorial all about the connection between uh, Somo Logic and Slack and the uh, sending the messages. If you need a more advanced query, how to write advanced query in the Somo Logic, uh, please refer the the link below, uh, which which has a video, so you can uh, you can get to know uh, more about how to uh, write a uh, advanced query. Um, as usual, like if you like my content uh, video, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, really appreciated. So let's get in. Way you can integrate Sumo Logic with the uh, Slack is using a webhook URL. So get the webhook URL. What we need to do, we need to create a, a app first. So I'll, I'll show you step by step uh, guidance how to create an app, get the webhook URL, and register in uh, Sumo Logic. So let's start. All right, as you can see, uh, I already created a Slack channel. And in your case, either you can choose existing one or you can create a, a new channel. So once you create the channel, uh, you go to the uh, under apps and click on the add apps. So this screen shows whatever the uh, existing application or apps which support Slack. In uh, here, we can't find something uh, related to the Sumo Logic. So what we're going to do, we create a custom map. To create a custom map, you need to click on the, the button in the right top most. click the app directory it's end up with the this screen in a browser so you are a default browser what you need to do you need to pick the uh, right workspace so maybe you register with the multiple workspace there so therefore you need to pick the right uh, workspace click on the uh, right workspace and click the build and this is a kind of documentation you can go through what we in my case I'm going to straightly go your apps uh, this is uh, the screen where you can start creating the app. Uh, pretty much, I currently I don't have any apps, uh, so I'm creating a new one. Uh, yes, I'm creating the from scratch. I'm not using any uh, existing stuff, and uh, give it a name. So maybe Sumo Slack app. This is my app name, and here you need to select the correct workspace. If you have, if you have more than one workspace, you need to pick the uh, right workspace and click on the create app. This is uh, this, some of the, the basic uh, information come for the app. Uh, in my case, what we're going to do, we go to incoming webhook because we need to get the uh, webhook uh, for this app. Uh, by default, it's off. You may make it on, then go down. And this is where you are, start, you are starting uh, adding a new uh, webhook URL. Click on the add new webhook to workspace. Uh, it's uh, it's come with it's asking some permission because you are accessing the you are giving the permission uh, to access uh, some of the information uh, for your workspace. So in this case, what we're going to do, you need to pick the uh, uh, channel. So in our case, uh, it it's listed on all the channels within the uh, your workspace. What we need to do, we need to pick the right channel. In our case, it's uh, Alert Sumo Logic and we allow then the app get the permission to push any notification to this slack channel so it says success everything is good looks good and this is the webhook url you get for the particular this app so what we need to do we get the uh, url and go to our sumo logic and start registering right so what i'm going to do i'm copy the webhook url and go to my Sumo Logic application. So as you can see, this is my Sumo Logic application. And if you don't have a, any Sumo Logic account, just go and create a free account. So you will come with the most of the feature uh, with the Sumo Logic free account. So very easy, and you can Google it and you can find the, uh, how to create a Sumo Logic uh, ac account. So what you need to do, you need to click on the uh, hamburger menu. As you can see, the left side and go to monitoring and once you go to monitoring you can see there are multiple tabs 
in our case what we need to do we need to go to the connection so in connection uh, click on the add uh, button so once you click add button you can see there are so many connection types you can pick in our case either you can select the slack or either uh, the webhook the both works so in my case uh, I'm you know, I'm selecting uh, slack and uh, give it a name so you can give a this is a, a connection you can see sumo uh, slack connection right so you can give it a name and URL you need to copy the webhook URL we got from uh, from the our app in uh, this app so I'm um, come back and this is a you can put as a custom header it's not necessarily um, this is a kind of uh, payload you can send to the Slack. So what you need to do, you can sell, uh, you can test the connection. You can uh, click on the test connection and say it's a success. If I open the my Slack, as you can see, the we got some sample uh, message from Slack. If I do again, if I go back, and if I do again, yeah. So it's got the the same message with the some of the dummy data. So that means it's connection work. This is how you set up the connection between the Sumo Logic and Slack. So I save the connection. I'm fine with the Slack uh, connection and uh, save it. So this is how you set up a connection between Sumo Logic and Slack. Step is creating a query in a Sumo Logic based on your application you may create a custom query in my case what I did I got a sample query over here um, if you want to create a new query you can say uh, click on new and uh, log search so this is how I got this uh, search query so if I run this as you can see uh, I'm checking the errors in my application if I go to the message uh, see uh, so many error message happening in the yeah then I'm doing some uh, formatting with the date and uh, group by the date basically if you go to the aggregate you can see uh, I'm getting some of the data for example uh, second of 12 48 third uh, 34 so if you need uh, uh, some inf understanding of how to write advanced query you can refer uh, one of the uh, video in a, in a comment below so you can get a more idea uh, more uh, how to set up the collection uh, how to send the mess logs from your application to a sumo logic right let's assume uh, you do have a logs so this is a kind of uh, the playground you can you can get the uh, you can fine tune your query and the copy to this query now we are going to create a, a monitoring so go to the monitoring and uh, this is the connection we create and let's go to the monitors tabs so this is something you uh, can see this is already existing monitor what we gonna do we gonna create a new monitor right click on the add monitor so a uh, new monitor uh, then go to uh, select the monitor app as a log and the uh, detection method as a static so and paste the, the query you got from the the search query so as you can see then uh, just enter so it will get some uh, some data for the last uh, uh, historical trends and what we're going to do uh, alert group keep it as a, a 34 over here uh, one thing is a trigger trigger alert on uh, which way which 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 property so basically as you can see the this query is returning a count and date so what we interesting with the count so count value Right. so we get the count value then uh, we are creating a critical alert on based on some threshold value so in let's say within the the last five minutes if the count value is greater than four or three uh, we need to start triggering the uh, alert so that's our criteria for the critical alert you can create a warning and the missing data separately let's uh, assume we are going only for the critical there's a recovery uh, uh, recovery alert it's automatically get created you can see recovery alert uh, automatically create based on the value we set up here uh, let's go to the advanced setting and uh, keep the user monitor as a name uh, doesn't matter right then uh, the notification this is where you can set up the actual connection uh, to a slack 
So in the connection type, either you can select a create new email. If you click on the create new email, you need to give a, uh, your email address. So whatever email address, it work. So otherwise, what you need to do in our case, we are selecting the Slack, uh, Sumo Slack connection, which is set up for uh, sending message to Slack. Click on the uh, Slack, uh, Sumo Slack connection, the one that we created earlier. And it's come with the uh, payload, sample payload. That's uh, good enough to start. Uh, right so uh, if you want really want you can uh, select uh, some of the existing available uh, uh, template variable you can use um, so let's go to uh, this payload need to go with the uh, critical so you can add a more notification type as you can see you can add a more notification type for the warning and the uh, other other uh, scenario like for example missing data let's say this one uh, give it a name as a monitor let's say I uh, I read last five minutes maybe this is uh, a month name you can give it a uh, description this is the way it's it saves like currently it's uh, saving the monitor you can create a more, more folder uh, stuff you can organize your monitor in a more uh, uh, better better way and uh, that's all you click on the save right so our monitor got created if you want to uh, go uh, edit click on this and you can edit and you can see the all the information there if you want to really uh, edit the content yes you come back and uh, update let's see the, uh, the we we create the alert and then what we need to do we need to send some uh, logs which has uh, some error messages so based on the error message it's straight run, it's run the query and it starts sending a uh, alert so now we already create the alert and uh, the threshold then what we need to do we need to create some uh, run uh, errors so forcefully we need to create an error to pretend the, the system has uh, some issue so I do have a .NET application which point to that Sumo logic collector. Uh, what I'm going to do this endpoint, which is a random error, which create error in my application, which send the message uh, uh, log message to uh, Sumo logic. So I'm I'm clicking clicking a couple of times to make uh, making some error message, and then after five minutes we will run the query and let's see uh, how the alerts going. At uh, some point I came back and if I run the query as you can see the we got a, like a many messages in the today that's been I uh, it's it's injecting the error message and uh, this is a uh, error message so let's go to the other uh, monitoring now so if you see the monitoring okay so what's gonna happen uh, it I give a nice refresh and you can see the high rate uh, la, hi, high rate last five minutes this this is our monitor the one that we get it's now it's critical and it's uh, come with the alert right so let's have a look of a slack channel right so this is our slack channel uh, 117 yes uh, like four minutes ago what you can see this is our uh, alert name monitor name and this is the alert URL and uh, this is description blah 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 then as you can see the trigger value this is uh, the count value we got uh, when we run the query and uh, it shows the what the query it's ran and uh, and it says what's the trigger condition sort of thing all right we we successfully got the alert from the sum logic so this one if i go back to uh, my uh, my monitor so uh, if i run again to so just to check the value so uh, this one says 125, but when you run the query, actual query in the monitor, it's checking the last five minutes. Last five minutes, it's got like 100, uh, 100 error message. That's why we got the, uh, sorry, uh, not 100, it's a 41 error message in a trigger. So last five, four, five minutes, we got, it's got a, a, like a 41 occurrences of error message. So that's how you set up the connection between the Slack and sending a message from a Sumo Logic to a Slack whenever something goes wrong. You, you can change the, the condition as, as you like. Uh, based on your application, you can configure threshold sort of thing. And uh, as the one thing is, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the, I had a .NET call application which point to the this uh, 
Tsumologic collection and all the information will be in the down below uh, I'll, uh, with the, the source code in the Git, GitHub and uh, please refer if you want to do a, a fresh application and uh, uh, do this demo uh, in your own as a scratch from the scratch if you want to create. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the today tutorial. If you if you like, uh, like basically, if you have any question, uh, please comment below, and really appreciate it. And this is kind of a dashboard I come through. And uh, of course, if you like uh, more content about the Zoom logic, please stay tuned. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much for today. And finally, uh, if you like my content, if you have any uh, comment on the content uh, or video. Uh, please comment below as I mentioned and uh, if you like my content please like and subscribe really appreciate it thank you so much and uh, see you on next video thanks